Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to my tutorial for today. How are we all doing? I trust God we are doing okay. We thank God for the gift of life. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate your time. Okay? And if you are new, please feel free to subscribe as you watch or before leaving. And also give us your likes and comments. Okay, so I have here two years of this fabric. We're going to be using it to make an umbrella top or a circle top with circle sleeve. Okay, everything umbrella or circle. Okay, so now all I did was to pick one end of the fabric and folded it. Okay, I just picked one end this way, folded it. and then laid it out next will be to mark your starting point and this is my starting point followed by the length of the top mine is 26 fold allowance inclusive and i have 26 here marked out so because my table is not wide i will just cut this one out remove this before we continue okay so i now have it cut okay now this is for a full drape okay Next will be to, I want to reduce it small here, but before then, I'll measure my armhole. This is one inch shoulder slope, and then armhole of eight inches. Okay. I'm just bringing down my shoulder measurement here. It and half, it and half, it and half, it and half. Okay. And this is three inches standard for shoulder sleep. Connecting it to my one inch. And then I'm covering my armhole. Okay. Okay. This chalk is not visible. Okay. Next will be to put my bust measurement of 44 inches divided into four is. 11 this is fitted i'm putting ease of one and a half inches sewing allowance of one inch and that is all the measurements we need okay if you want this place to be this way that's fine by you and i think i'd like to reduce it Now you see the reason I brought the shoulder measurement down here is to avoid the shoulder coming out this way. Okay? Is to avoid the shoulder coming out this way. You see it? Sometimes, except the client wants it this way. If you make it this way, it means you don't need a bust measurement because it will just be, uh, it will just flay from the bust down. That is if you use this kind of armhole cord. But the reason I brought my own down is to give a little fitting at the bust. Okay? Because leaving it this way, there's no way you can put a bust measurement. You see it? It's looking funny. I hope you get that. So, you can do it this way or you can do it 
this way. Okay, let me cut this one so that you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have you have it this way. Okay, you see it is circle from up down. It has no fitting at the bust area. But if you brought your shoulder measurement down and cover out your armhole just like I did here, it gives you a little fitting around the bust area before it now expands. Okay. So I will now cut this one. I only cut this one to show you that you can get two shapes out of this. Okay. So this is it. I will now use it to cut the back. And then for the back, if you want to put zip, you can then introduce your zipper allowance. If not, you have to make the neck wide enough for, the, for your head to pass through. Three and a half inches. Four and a half. Okay, I'm making it neck width four and a half inches. Neck depth four and a half inches. Okay, so this is for the front. I'll go ahead and cut the back. Okay, here is for the back. I have zipper allowance of one inch. That is it here. Okay, so I'll just cut this one as well. Allowance. Okay. So I changed my mind. I eliminated the zipper allowance. I don't think I want it to have zip. Okay. So we'll go to the sleeve right away. The sleeve also is a, an umbrella sleeve. So you fold as well this way. Sleeve length is 13 inches. We'll be starting measurements from here. I'll add one and a half inches for food. Okay, so I'll measure 14 and a half inches. need to put the arm okay so this is one I've caught the second one and then line it properly. 
all right so i have the two sleeve cut out at this point if you are lining you go ahead and line if not you cut out your facing to tape the neckline and that's what i'll do because if i line it it will become too heavy and i don't want it heavy so i'll just cut out the facing okay now if you cut you should then go to the machine turn your fabric to the wrong side and sew it like this this is the wrong side this is the wrong side so i put the fabric the facing on the right side this way you sew when you sew you top stitch then you turn the facing to the wrong side i hope it's clear enough okay so this is what i meant by top stitching i hope you see it and then you just turn it over to sit properly next i will join them at the two shoulders close at the two sides before we now come to the sleeve okay so i've attached them at the two shoulders and also close the two sides okay next thing i will do will be to fix the sleeve and close the hemline and that will be all so i'll measure the armhole and use it to close them two sleeves and then attach all right so i've joined the sleeve and we have a circle or umbrella top ready you see there was really no need for zip because it can enter properly as long as you make the neck wide enough to allow the head to pass through Thank you people for watching till the end. I really appreciate your time on my channel. Don't forget if you are new, please subscribe before leaving. And also please send your request through WhatsApp to me. Till we meet in my next tutorial, please take care of yourself. And always be nice. Bye.